Hey guys, it's Tori. Welcome to my channel or welcome if you're new. So in today's video, we are going to sublimate water bottles. These are so cool. These are 32 ounces and these were given to me by Userin and they come as a two set. I'm going to create the template over in Canva and I'm using the free edition. You'll just want to go over here and hit customize and we'll want to change pixels to inches and the dimensions that I did is 8.2 by 11 and we're going to hit create new design. Here is the image and I'm going to rotate it and then we're going to stretch it out. The next thing you need to do is flip it. Now we are ready to go ahead and hit share and we're going to download and we are going to change file type to PDF print, best for printing and hit download and just save this to your desktop. And then you want to open up the PDF and we're going to hit print and we're going to send it to my Epson ET 2720. So we need to change it here as well. So we'll put this on ET 2720 and you want to make sure that this is actual size. Then we're going to go up here to properties and I'm using a legal paper portrait. Paper type is premium presentation paper mat. Quality should always be high. And I just make sure that these are all unchecked. Then we're going to go to more options and we're just double checking legal here. And then I'm going to go to custom advanced and color controls. Color mode is Adobe RGB Gamma 2.2. And then you'll just adjust your colors to your liking. We'll hit OK. OK. And then we're going to send this to the printer. The first thing I did was preheat your confection toaster oven. So I set mine at 400 and you need to preheat it for at least 15 minutes. The next thing I did was just take off the top of the tumbler because you can't sublimate with this on. And we're gonna take this and you want to get a paper towel and put rubbing alcohol on the paper towel and then clean this very thoroughly because it gets off any debris on there that you may not see, but it will show up when you are sublimating. So then you wanna go ahead and dry this so it's completely dry. And I am printing the sublimation paper, it's almost done. And then we're gonna go ahead and apply it to this. This just came off the printer. I'm going to go ahead and just cut some of the excess off and you want to make sure this is the right side up and we're going to line it up on the tumbler and we want to make sure that it is pulled very tightly and I'm going to go ahead and do this super tight. And then we're going to use heat resistant tape. And let me put the scissors right here so it doesn't roll off. All right. Okay. I'm going to secure it at the top and the bottom, but let's do the bottom first since it would be easier. So we're just gonna go ahead and fold this down. Okay, so this looks really nice down here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the top as well. So I'm just going to line this up and just make sure that it is pressed down. Put this inside the shrink wrap. And the next thing we're gonna do is get the heat gun and we're gonna go ahead and, okay.
so this looks perfect. And we're gonna go ahead and put it in the confection toaster oven. And I am going to go ahead and take some parchment paper and just wrap the tumbler in parchment paper as well. And I'm gonna tape it with the heat resistant tape. So we have it just like this. The reason you want to put it in parchment paper is because when you place it on the rack, the shrink wrap is going to melt and you rather it melt in the shrink wrap than damage your rack. And this has been preheating at 400 for 15 minutes. And we're gonna go ahead and place this in there and set the timer for three minutes. And I have the tape facing up. And we're doing that, because, um, I'm telling you that because after three minutes, we're going to rotate it. So you'll wanna pay attention. You'll wanna pay attention on what side it is. So it's been three minutes and it's very hot. So make sure you have your heat resistant gloves on. We're gonna go ahead and turn this over and do three more minutes. We're gonna go ahead, turn it off, take it out. And remember, it's really hot, so you have to have heat resistant gloves on. Let's go ahead and open it up. I'm gonna use a little scissors to kind of get that going. Okay. trying to take off this shrink wrap um, before it gets cool because sometimes it might get stuck I don't know all right so wow this looks so nice let's get this all off so you can see it's very very hot wow look how awesome that is that looks so so nice Wow, okay, so I'm gonna let it cool and then we're gonna put this on the bottom and put the top on, I'm gonna show it to you. It's a little hot, so I will be right back. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn this upside down. We're gonna take this and take this off. And all you do is just apply it to the bottom. Just wanna place it in the center. And that's it. And there you go. Doesn't that look awesome? So this turned out really, really, really nice.